G'day, I'm Robin from Equip2, and in this video we're going to show you how to remove the meshes on an R3H. To start off with, we're going to start our engine and activate the hydraulics. We're then going to lift our screen box and FCO up to remove the safety pins. We're going to now drop the screen box and FCO down. So to remove the R3H after screen mesh, we need to remove the tension bar from the front of our mesh by undoing the four 24mm nuts on the back. Now removing our clamping bar, we can loosen up our mesh by, press, by forcing it to the back of the machine, which will unclip the back mesh. Now we can just lift the mesh out and remove. To undo our bottom mesh, we're going to loosen off our bottom tensioner, which is done from the side of the box. Once loosening off your tensioner on both sides, the tensioner can be pulled away from the hook and released back. Then the mesh can be, like the top one, pulled towards the back of the machine, unhooked and removed. To install the mesh, we're going to refit our small bottom mesh, laying it, laying it in, laying it underneath the rubber. Hooking it on and Easiest to use a bar to pull the mesh back. And pressing down to get the hook in again and re-hooking. Tensioning up the mesh, we're going to use the tension nut and bar. We have conical washers here, which when it's tensioned to the correct tension, these washers will be flat and they act as a spring washer to hold tension on the mesh. These need to be done up evenly on both sides. Once the uh, tension's done up, you'll notice that the washers are all flat now and they've taken up the spring tension. We put our lock nut on and our protector. Nip that up, it's done on both sides. We'll also in here make sure that our capping rubber is all installed correctly. You'll notice the wire will be slightly indented on the capping rubber. The purpose of the capping rubber is there to make sure that the mesh is not touching the steel and it doesn't chatter and vibrate. So now we're gonna install the top mesh again and we're gonna just lift it up, put it over the back hooks, and set it into place. Hook 
hooking it over the back hook. And placing it there, installing the tension bar. Installing the nuts. And evenly doing them up. Then we always go over it with a strong arm bar to make sure the tension is even and done up tight. After fitting the mesh, we want to make sure, again, the tension is tight, even right across on the mesh, and just pressing into the capping rubber to make sure it doesn't shatter. And that's how you install the meshes on an R3H.